What we are looking for is to develop the horse's natural instinct of looking at what something is in front of them, be prepared to adjust themselves if they need to, and then to uh, avoid it when you get there. So we're coming into Harry Fry Racing at Higher Crockermore Farm. Uh, we're coming in to have a watch of Yogi Breisner, who is a bit of an equine performance guru. He's going to be giving Harry's horses a bit of a jumping lesson today and be really interesting to get some insight on how equestrians from other disciplines can help racehorses. So because these are young horses, I leave a gap between the barrels to start out with. And if you spook them when you start out, then very often that spook stays with them. Like with a lot of training, you just do it in small steps and you just do it gradually. So Yogi, you of course are no stranger to racing. You've done lots of work with British Racing School. I've had lessons from you in the past, um, in those wonderful golden days. Um, but how much involvement do you have in racing? I've always had a genuine interest in racing. During my eventing days, some trainers used to send horses to where I was based for us to do a bit of preschooling or teaching them to jump or horses that were a bit difficult. It's linked up very well with the eventing side. We did race our show jumping cross country. And in the days when I was riding, we had to do steeplechase as well. So <laughs> you had to get used to riding horses at speed over jumps and having the uh, right pace on the horse and riding the horse in the right direction. That's the same between show jumping, cross country riding and, and racing. How does this benefit them in a racing environment? Because what we are looking for is to develop the horse's natural instinct of looking at what something is in front of them, be prepared to adjust themselves if they need to, and then to uh, avoid it when you get there. A lot of the time with any horses, but particularly race horses, you would start with possibly a bit of loose jumping. Then you would introduce them to small little things like barrels and logs and tires and little exercises like this. And then once you feel that they've got the confidence in that, then you introduce them to schooling at home. Yeah. And then the final <laughs> proof of the pudding is what they do on the racetrack. You did a really good job there, Megan. Very nice indeed. He needs a bit of this because he's just a little bit flighty. What made you decide to get Yogi Bryson's help? Uh, well, I think obviously his experience, just to be able to, yeah, him to come down every two, three weeks and, and as we've seen, uh, work with the riders and the horses. Do you yeah. specifically focus on horses with jumping problems or is it the whole, whole No, spectrum? we work, work with all of the horses, and whether it's young horses, older horses, uh, horses that maybe lost a bit of confidence. The whole point in the schooling is to give the horses confidence so they know, they're assured, um, so when they get on the racetrack they know exactly what they're doing. With the work at home, you're hopefully laying the foundation in that, in the ideal world, the horse takes responsibility for the jumping and the jockey can ride a race. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been a successful morning of schooling here at Harry Fry Racing, and it's been amazing to see the impact that other equestrian disciplines can have on educating racehorses on how to jump. We'll be heading to Laura Collett's next to see what she's been bringing to the racing industry.